Spinning around this room, there's nothing but movie cars and there's the kit car. Sick with it. Herbie's right over there. Suki, hot rod. And you've got the mystery machine right next to the famous, oh my goodness, Eleanor. If, I'm glad that this whole entire lawsuit is over with. Because you could not buy this body kit without getting a cease and desist or whatever it is to get your car taken away. B is for build. Got really bad rep for this one but this is pretty cool i like that so i think this is pretty cool the hot rods and custom spotters guides so basically they show you all the different styles of cars that there is and honestly there's a lot more that should be on this wall but aren't on this wall and it's very hard nowadays if you are a beginner to tell the difference between all the different vehicles especially tuner tuner is so much crazier in the world vip that one actually is very true to its case you know big boats big wheels chrome bagged out curtains vip vip basically in this case you guys can read it but vip to me basically means that you have a really nice car that's super luxurious inside and out full-on curtains full-on done up everything just for your mob bosses or whoever is your passengers and you're sh chauffeuring around. I think it's nice and comfortable. That's pretty sick. But look at this one. Was once inside the vault, so I'm super excited to see what's down there. Once again, guys, if these videos get 200 likes in total between the both of them, I will drop that video with a vault. This thing's got a full on machine gun. Crazy. So it's pretty cool to see this one. It's got real plates and it's got a little toy gun. We're going to say that for YouTube copyright purposes. Don't take down my video, guys. But I thought this thing was pretty sick. Just to talk about it. Driven in Cobra. Now, seeing movie cars right over here, guys, if you are very familiar with the movie car Gypsy Rose, we have. And I know things will be better. I've seen it before, Griffith Park before it was at its resting place over here. But we are gonna be checking that out. Just a little sneak peek real quick. Lowrider Origins. You've got all the candy hoods. You've got something poking out down there. It looks like a super cool truck. Well, we're gonna go down there and check it out. Let's go. Coming right over here, look at that. That is a cool design on that panel right there. We've got this guy in a throne. Kidding, that's Jesus Christ. Prisoner of Love. Sick with it. Some more tribal stuff. Very famous for the pinstriping world. We've got a lady with the rose. Kidding. I know I'm going to get a lot of haters for that one. And this one right here. That's pretty cool. Nice color. Here's a full description of everything. I hope we don't get copyrighted, guys. There's some music playing in the background. Kevin McGree. So I'm not making fun of it guys. I'll just throw a little bit of humor over here. But let's go ahead and check out this exhibit. All right, so finally coming down here once again, Gypsy Rose and all display. I thought this was pretty cool. They have all the little dimensions. We'll check it out real quick. The three iterations of Gypsy Rose from 2016 to 2022. That's crazy because this car, 1960s has been around guys over a thousand hours creating just these replicas that's crazy man so much detail in that little tiny thing right there even if it's just a hydro dip you can still have the swivel seats down to the dash and everything very spot on and it's cool actually because now we get to inspect this car a little bit more when it was leaving it was just a quick glimpse. Everybody was walking around, hovering around it. You can see all the colors and everything. Oh, dude, this thing is so sick. And yeah, just to make it clear, that is the same one that we've seen. It's not a different Gypsy Rose. It can't be two of these cars. Everyone is so warm in this car. You've got the drone in the air swarming it. You've got the humans in the air blocking traffic. <laughs> in South LA right now, or in Los Angeles rather. That is pretty sick, man. Man, something about lowriders, guys. 
best in low exhibit. It's so cool because honestly, it's, wow, wait a minute. These things are clear. Oh, that's so sick. Engraved drivetrain. And the whole entire thing is all done up. But the cool thing about low riding, it's a true Picasso of low riding and Hispanic culture and all different cultures, really. It's just super amazing to be seeing it. Sometimes there are families, sometimes there's a whole entire storyline, especially I know with Dukes, they have a whole entire story like this one right here. I'm gonna show you guys just in a minute, but it's so cool that low riding is very true to that. He's got the Cadillac style tail lights on there. Nice. That's pretty sick. They got a full on screen showing out everything in front. You can see Happy's legs right over there. It's pretty funny. This thing's got some clear tails, engraved rear thing. Look at the tanks in this setup. They like little bullets and missiles, custom color paint all of them. I love, it's got pink on the bottom and blue on the top. I know you guys can see that with the lighting. It's very beautiful in here. Really nice white on white, blue, engraved. The Gonzo. Oh, there's the camera right there. This is a pretty cool LED stand. All right there, behind you can see a whole entire process of all that custom engraving being done. This thing right here. Now I know there is people now that are actually taking a bit further than engraving chrome and engraving all this crazy stuff. They're actually engraving the glass. I know it's also in lowrider culture, but something else that they're doing is engraving the mirrors. So now your mirrors can be engraved, tail lights, pretty much anything and everything on the car can be engraved, which I think is so cool. Viva Las Vegas. This thing's got everything Vegas all over it. The seats right here are actual slot machines. You got all the playing cards in the very back. And man, look at that, you got craps. You got everything all the way around here. Now, if this is not craps, don't come at me. I don't gamble, guys. Pretty cool to even have the whole entire board right there. It's a dash. This is a right-hand drive as well. So the driver can pop right on out. Full-on custom conversions. Got mirrors in the floors as well. Lifestyle casino. Got Circus Circus right there. Now, big to offer. That's a really good spot to park at if you want to walk around the strip. Of course, you got the Flamingo Girls because it wouldn't be Vegas without the Flamingo Girls. Lifestyle ca casino. This car right here was last time at the Lowrider show in Long Beach. A long time ago, a couple years ago when I last seen this thing. Still looking immaculate. Pretty cool, man. Right over here, guys, you got a really cool exhibit. Lowrider Japan right over there. Sick with it, man. This is so amazing to see all this. I myself have a few from back in the 2000s. This is a nice little area, Lowrider magazines, the whole history of it and everything. Zoot suits, <laughs> taking them back old school right there. I really would love to go to Texas, but see right there, Gypsy Rose. Yes, that car has traveled all the way to Washington DC and all the way to Japan. That car has done more traveling than I ever had so far. But this one right here on a three wheel motion, popped up, big chilling. 84 Oldsmobile Cutlass, simply beautiful. Big chilling, three wheel motion, nice. So I was talking about engraving guys, straight in the glass, really clean man, really clean. It's got a ruby style steering wheel as well, matching that candy red paint all the way down through and through. That is sick. Double trouble paint, all this cool stuff right here. It's got the kids right there. All the little history, the city, as dope. Double trouble, even got the kids cart. And it's got a custom gray wheel right there. I'm pretty sure these are wheels off the car, but ah, dude, this thing has so much paint engraving in the glass, guys. So much done. This honestly isn't a car anymore. This is a full on masterpiece done up, posted up right here. That is dope. Coming over to the front of the car, LSX454 twin turb skis. Jeez, this baby's pushing power and looks mean at the same time. Got the kids in the headlight. Delvale, Texas. Jeez, look at that. 
hold on, straight piped all the way. Well, that's some muffler right there. The res igniter. That is dope. Got the car inside the car. Because why not? Strictly business. A car stuck in the 90s, winning multiple championships. Super sick, man. Even if it is just stuck as that timepiece, it definitely shows the 90s era going creeping into the 2000s. Nice. That hood looks so sick too. That's dope. So the main one, when you first walk in from those beautiful doors, checking out this one, painted all the way through and through. If you guys haven't seen, there's a hot rod show that I went to and I've seen this thing there. Very custom trunk, very custom everything. Honestly, this one is super cool, but besides all that and the matching stripes going all the way from the middle of the car, trunk, to the dash, to the front, all the way down through and through, you guys gotta check out these rockers. So inside, you can see right over here, that orange, those are little skulls, guys. And it goes all the way through and through the very bottom. Even the stripes match all the way from the bottom of the car to the front of the car. That is pretty sick. Captain 42 right over here. Got that full on resurrecting, rebuild, custom, Captain America's type thing. And it's got suicide doors. Honestly, I've never seen this on a bomb. Shout out to all the veterans as well watching this video. If you guys are veterans, or if you guys have family that serve in the country, thank you. Thank them for their services. Honestly, I wanted to go to the army and be a mechanic there. I think that'd be pretty cool. It's got Captain America right over here. Pretty cool. Imagine doing this, but giving him a Thor hammer. <laughs> that'd be pretty funny. That car right there, Aztec inspired. That one has a full on custom engraved glass all the way through and through. We have seen this one at the Long Beach Lowrider Super Show. Look at that artwork. Honestly, guys, you cannot mess up with your engraving work because one little slip, it will be noticeable. Even this one right here, look at that face, the nose. You can see it's kind of, kind of up and down, but honestly for nose and lips, shape of the chin, it's pretty good for the artwork of engraving. This is one end done. You cannot go back and correct your mistakes. That is pretty dope. Oh man. Why is everything chrome? This thing is pretty sick. Engraved all the way through and through, guys, from the tip of the nose to the back. Custom paint, but it looks engraved. But it's still really cool. You can see that natural chrome on the tire right over there. That is so cool. Can you guys guess the car? 58 Impala with those tail lights. This one right here, that purple. Oh, dude, this thing looks so beautiful. Going interior with that kind of checkered plate. It's really, it's really clean. Simple, but it's clean. It's nothing crazy, no crazy stripes. Nice color matching all the way through. I love how lowriders do that. Take the time and effort to put all the attention to detail. Man, clear tails and it's got a full on thing. Look at the hard top on that one, guys. Oh, geez. Well, this place is pretty cool. Look at these Nike Cortezes right here. Ah, it's got a Uno cards too. Oh, dude, these Uno cards look sick. So, right over here is a really cool car coming all the way from Japan. It's a Japanese car customizers have been embracing lowrider culture since the 90s. Haishi Ushida is one of the country's best known lowrider garages, Cholo's Custom in Ama City. I guess that's where we gotta be going, guys. Make sure to subscribe, check out all the videos. Like I said, between the two parts of these videos, to get 200 likes, I will drop that video of the vault, which we are gonna be exploring soon. You can see the little splatters on there. I wonder if that was intentional or on accident. It is throughout the entire car. So perhaps it was once an accident, but it looks super cool. All the candies, all the different colors, the custom interior, and you can even see the inside of that pillar right there. That is pretty sick, attention to detail. And I just wanna talk about these sunshades too. If you guys know lowriders, these things are expensive. Oh, this thing is sick though. Nice. All right, so we got some artwork right over here, ending this tour of the best in low, guys. 
don't worry, like I said, if you do get those two videos to 200 likes, 200 views is easy. 200 likes? The reason why we're so big on that now, because if you guys like it, people who you're subscribed to or people who are subscribed to you will see this video and watch it. So that's why I kind of push out the likes now. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We're gonna go ahead and check out the vault now, but get these videos up, guys. Thank you for watching. As always, stay safe, stay chill.